Peterson 34 from 1980. We will make a full walkthrough video now. The boat is seriously for sale. I bought her six years ago and constantly upgraded her and uh, maintained her. So this one is going to be very long and I'm going to explain uh, all the details about this boat and uh, the upgrades that has been made over the years. So we are starting from the bow and we have a new Lufrans windlass that has been installed uh, two years ago. It is connected to 50 meter chain and at the end of this chain there is an ultra uh, stainless steel anchor uh, which weighs 16 kilograms. There are controllers here with two buttons and there is also controllers from the aft cockpit with the chain counter which is very comfortable when you're doing single-handed. Um, big hatch here in the front the hatches are new, I mean the, the plastic uh, is new and has been changed two or three years ago. Same for the side windows. Now, four years ago the, the whole uh, deck equipment, the whole deck gear has been removed, nothing at all has been uh, stayed and the whole paint, the whole paint system, including the non-skid, uh, has been renewed with a material which is called uh, uh, rubber sand. Beautiful uh, result. It's very comfortable to walk on this uh, with barefoot. Uh, it feels very uh, gentle and yet the grip is amazing. The Genoa sail here is uh, two years old from UK sail. The main sail is in use for six years and the uh, lazy bag is also uh, quite new, about three years old. Moving astern, we have a new Bimini that has been uh, installed last year. It has two big windows which allows you to see the position of the mainsail from any sitting place in the cockpit. Two winches in each side. Uh, the biggest one are for the Genoa with the three speeds. Uh, the aft uh, winch is used for the furler and I'm using the other aft winch, this one, to tow the dinghy. It's quite comfortable. And then again you can see the condition of the non-skid. The paint that has been used here is uh, international, which is a super quality paint. Uh, it, you, you clean it and it feels like new. Here at the aft there is a water platform which I installed last year. It's very comfortable. Uh, it makes your life much easier to get yourself into the dinghy or to swim. And then there is a ladder here which goes out and four steps down so you can go and uh, go up back to the boat very easy. This is the GPS antenna, stern light. Now the Bimini has uh, side shades, side uh, sun shades all around. So when they are all going down, it gives you a lot of protection from the sun, as well as privacy. If you don't want people to see you from uh, the back when you're moored in the marina, so it gives a lot of privacy. Uh, the ballon of the gas is located here. It has a cover. And since we are from this angle, let's check the navigation system of the boat. 
the boat has a full set of ray marine, depth sounder, speed, wind direction, and autopilot. And the autopilot is behind me with a liner, electrical liner, very efficient. And it also has a chart plotter from Raymarine 6C80 with a worldwide gold card. So you have maps uh, to any corner in the world. And of course, the magnetic compass. And now, this set is not original from the boat, this whole uh, pedestal is from uh, Edson, it's a very known American company. Uh, it has the throttle and the gear separated. It takes a little bit time to get used to it, but it works perfect. Uh, you can lock the wheel from here. Originally, this boat was a tiller boat, and you can still see the connection to the tiller and I keep a show tiller for emergency steering which is located down there um, actually I think it fell down to the beach no it's here um, autopilot is here everything is very massive here this is uh, painted with epoxy um, rather rather indicator for the Raymarine and I also store here my uh, electric uh, shore power uh, cable and also uh, emergency anchor. Every part of the bilge of this boat has been repainted, cleaned, repainted and uh, inspected. You can see from here how massive the, uh, the rudder shaft is. In these years they used to overshoot with the extensive power of the boat and this is the result. Now down here we have a, a bilge pump, manual bilge pump and we have a controller uh, for the Yanmar engine. Uh, this boat has new Yanmar engine from 2021 uh, at this time it has about 150 running hours uh, she used to have a 15 horsepower Yanmar but now she has 30 horsepower and this engine is uh, nearly overpowered in 2000 rpm the boat is doing between five to six knots cruising she can run even seven nearly eight but it's uh, it's too much power for her now here we have a big lazarette, uh, it used to be deep all the way down but um, I created kind of a, another floor here Oops. so actually you have a level here which you can arrange everything in baskets according to the need, uh, cleaning materials, ropes and so on and underneath you can open sections like this and underneath there are uh, jugs of fuel and water so we will close this one put back the ropes and the bucket I will arrange it better later what we also have here is hot and cold shower this one uh, last year I, st I installed yeah I installed in the boat a new boiler the boiler is working with the, the heat of the engine as well as a 220 volt electrical power let's have a view forward The cables of the railing has been changed five years ago. They are in very good condition as well. Now, when I change, uh, when I repair the deck, I change all the bolts and screws from uh, uh, Inchic 
to, mil, uh, to metric system. The boat was built in Texas, USA, and somehow they uh, put everything with the inch system. So a few hundred bolts has been changed. Uh, also, I created a new uh, hand railing, this one. Uh, this is new, it needs a little bit of sanding to, so that the thick color will come out, but uh, basically it's, uh, it's new, it's three years old. Let's have a quick look up to the, to the mast. There are two spreaders here, and on the lower spreaders there are spreader lights which are super efficient. When you lit them at night, the whole deck is flushed with water, with the, sorry, with light. Uh, it's really an advantage. On the top of the mast, uh, you will find the VHF, the wind indicator, and the tricolor light and the anchor light. All of them are working perfectly. Now, in this place, uh, there is a suitable table which uh, is installed now in the, in the main cabin. So when you don't use it in the main cabin, it fits here uh, and the installation is just putting it and it sits very, very uh, stable. So let's go inside and see the interior of the boat. Well, this is the first look. So, uh, there is a big uh, navigation table here. Underneath, uh, there is place for uh, maps. I, I put some other things underneath. Let's see. All kinds of things that you daily need. Uh, looking astern, to the starboard quarter. I have a angle fridge here, which can be used as a freezer as well. I mean, you can choose whether you want it as a freeze or a freezer. And here there is a big uh, quarter bed. Normally I use this area for storage. I put my fenders in here and uh, food, etc. Uh, but it's also possible to put a big mattress here. Now the whole boat is furnished with lights. Light is on, light is off. Electrical panel. All the switches are working perfectly. Voltage indicator. This is 12 volts. This is the AC 220 and additional 12 volts switches. Looking at the other side, there is a relatively new galley which has been installed two years ago, totally new, and, and let's, let's go into the details of this galley because many things can be modified here. So this is a big working uh, area, working surface, and you can actually fold it like this. And underneath you have a gimbal stove, which is very stable and works in every uh, weather condition. You have here a belt so you can tie yourself uh, when the boat is leaning and click it here. Now, if you wonder uh, where are the sinks here, so here they are. There is one huge sink here. And if you wanna store it, it has a dedicated place here, the surface. So it can store additional uh, three pieces like this. It's a huge, deep, uh, oops, I opened the, the water. It's a huge, deep sink. And 
and it's very useful for a sailing boat uh, even if you are cooking something and you don't want to place the the hot food up on the surface you put it down and it's secure not to mess up the boat there is another huge sink here which i use to dry the clean dishes and um, so and both of them has drains uh, out to the sea and the last place is here which leads to a garbage bin this small square so all in all with this uh, within this small area um, you have a lot a lot of options to use this uh, galley efficiently uh, three baskets here you can store some dry food places to put your plates the uh, the plates will go with the boat the this place this dedicated places are uh, uh, dedicated for this set a uh, bread box some uh, uh, seasoning boxes olive oil and so on back here there is a small storage for keys for flashlights and so on same for the other side mobile phone speaker and there is a place here to charge your mobile phone now let's look under the chart table and see what we can find down here um, now there is a vacuum uh, machine here and back there there is a inverter from Vitron so you can have 220 using your batteries when you're at sea if you want to work on your laptop uh, you don't have any limitation of using it main batteries and main charger are based under this uh, this uh, cover there are four batteries here each with 110 amperes so you can run all your machinery the autopilot uh, navigation system lights for at least 12 hours and then with a new battery charger on the new engine you need maximum 40 minutes and they are full again so this is a very big advantage now uh, i'll show you the engine uh, compartment at uh, the end and this is obviously the the main part or the main cabin now what i did here i'm going to show it with slides but basically you have two extensions here one here and one here and as you can see each one of the beds can be uh, extended and then both of them together can be connected and this whole thing is becoming one double bed which is super comfortable uh, me and my my wife are sleeping here when we are going for a uh, sailing and it's it's really comfortable and yet still you you have a place which you can jump from here over to the forward and use the toilet if you need moving forward and then let's turn back the camera and see how the this main salon looks from this angle very nice volume for a 34 feet boat now on both sides I created this uh, this canvas with big pockets so originally the boat used to have mattresses here and on the other side it's very narrow but still someone can sleep there uh, I thought there are too many sleeping options on the boat so I turn it into storage areas which are super comfortable you don't you never have things flying in the boat it's all secured um, um, pillows um, all kinds of uh, suitcases uh, everything you can throw back there same for the other side normally i keep things in boxes so I w when i do some long cruising i keep the food in boxes here 
it's very com comfortable and very easy to access. Okay, let's go back forward. Let's go forward. And as you can see, this is the V berth, which is quite generous. Now this cable can be very easily removed using this one. So when you're on anchor, you can quickly remove it and hide it under the mattress. And then you have free access to the V-berth. You have one uh, small step here so you can jump inside and it's very comfortable. Under this uh, V-berth there is the anchor uh, or the chain locker and underneath this area there is a big storage. I keep here some uh, big tow uh, rope and some tools. There are lights here in both sides. Same for the other side, so there are reading lights. Yeah. And plenty of, uh, plenty of air. There's this big hatch. One window here. Another window here. And in here, there are lockers. I keep here tools, fishing equipment. Um, some manuals, more tools, and deep storage down here, boots, <clears throat> and you have a hanging locker in here. On the other side, there is the, the head, which is very modest but working. There is a manual uh, Jabsco machine for the toilet. Small sink with running water and additional storage in both sides. Down below also additional place for storage. This place originally was used to, sh to take showers, but I canceled it because the water was just going into the bilge and I didn't like it. So the only option to take showers now and hot showers is out on the deck. Now, another thing that I uh, did when I did the, this, the deck project, when I removed everything, is to take all the decoration from the, from the ceiling the decorate the the ceiling was uh, with some kind of a decorative uh, cover. I didn't like it. Uh, I like things to be exposed. This way you have control. If you have any leakage or or any problem, you can you can deduct it uh, detect it immediately. And I feel that it's very clean, very aesthetic. Um, from here you can again see the windows which are new. Plastic is very fresh, clean. Again the galley. And let's have a look at uh, the engine compartment. So I remove the stairs and this is the Yanmar 30 horsepower which is brand new. Now, aside from the engine, actually the whole propulsion system has been changed. Uh, the shaft, the propeller, which is from uh, FlexiFold from Denmark, uh, it's a folding propeller with two wings, super efficient. It's uh, always uh, graded very high when they are doing compartment, compare, com when they are comparing different uh, types of uh, propellers. Uh, everything is actually new here. The isolation of the engine room, these materials in both sides, the, the fuel separation, the, uh, the sea filter, seawater filter, and back there you can see the, uh, the boiler to heat water 
and these two pipes are leading to the boiler back there so when they are open now they are open uh, as soon as the engine is working after 10 minutes 15 minutes you have boiling water and you can take a hot shower everything is very accessible the belts are here uh, you can change your uh, your um, job score uh, uh, propeller impeller sorry and there is a big uh, alternator here which is dedicated for sailing boat uh, 120 watts uh, which is charging the batteries super fast so it's a 1980 boat with a 2021 a new Yanmar engine, the engine is amazing, no smoke, very responsive, super power for this size of boat. Um, additional storage we have here, down here, and down here, also here, uh, some drawer for the cutlery, and down here is the place where the where the uh, seawater valves are again it has light and you can see uh, this is the drain for the sink this is supply of water to the main engine back there there is another big uh, electrical pump and this pump supply water to wash your decks and there is an extension here so if you open this one you can connect a pipe and it's uh, it's very efficient because sometimes you spill coffee in the cockpit and you're in the middle of the sea and you don't want to use your fresh water so you just start this pump you wash the cockpit and you don't you don't waste water and uh, the boat is clean again very efficient you can also use it as an emergency uh, bilge pump so this is another advantage so this was the peterson 34 built in texas usa in 1980 if you need more details you can find my uh, contact details in the video description below don't hesitate to contact me ask questions and uh, I also put a link to the yacht page we, which you will find the full list of uh, specification list as well as uh, many uh, additional photos of this boat.